Here we are, Tuesday morning, standing in Town Hall Square. Uh, I'm joined this morning by someone you may recognise, uh, Paul Southwood, uh, who was part of the older persons protest. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Um, thanks. Would you be able to tell us a little bit about um, Workers' Memorial Day and some of your plans for the future? Yes, well, Workers' Memorial Day originated in Canada in 1982. We celebrated the Peace Council in 1982, recognising the UK and, sorry, we were recognised in 1987, uh, recognised in UK and USA in 1992, internationally recognised by the UN in 2002. Um, each day, the 28th of April, we remember people killed and injured at work, more so particularly uh, in the construction and the uh, building industry and also the deep sea fishing industry. Um, we hold it on the 28th every day, whether it's a Saturday, Friday, Sunday, what have you. We have a short uh, presentation uh, taught by the Lord Mayor and the leaders of the council and the local MP. Um, we then um, display uh, flowers in remembrance of people killed and injured at work. <coughs> and also afterwards, after the speech, we go across to Bishop Street Methodist Church for a non-denominational service. And we have plans to uh, talk about in council for um, a future event, hopefully in three years' time, when we're 25 years old. Can you tell us um, something about the statue you were mentioning to me earlier? Well, a trade council meeting, two or three members have actually talked about um, either raising money for a statue or a sculpture to remember people killed and injured in the building of the city of Leicester. So, uh, although it was basically just in the talk of stage of uh, throwing ideas uh, back uh, here, there and everywhere, um, at the recent, uh, work, this year's Workers Memorial Day 2009, uh, instead of um, giving a bouquet of flowers, the, the Lord Mayor actually handed me a, te a ten pound note. Um, and as Vice President of the Prince Council, I accepted it on condition that, that that would be the first donation towards a statue or sculpture to remember the people killed and injured in the building of this great city. Fantastic. Uh, you also mentioned about a, a book of remembrance. Yes, well. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Also present, of course, was the Deputy Lord Mayor and also the leader of the council, Ross Wilmot. And uh, Ross said that he would obviously, it would be a good idea to have a, a book of remembrance, situ possibly situated in the town hall. Um, so in the future, within the next fortnight, three weeks, I intend to arrange a meeting with Ross Wilmot and also the local MP, uh, Peter Salisbury, to get their support for both. In fact, uh, Ross said it was actually a good idea for to have a sculpture to remember uh, people killed and injured in the, in the city. That's brilliant. Well, thanks very much, Paul. Thank, Thank you for you coming along and talking to us today. And uh, good luck and may you go from, from strength to strength. Thank you very much. Thank you.